All right, guys, uh, I've got a little sort of uh, review for you rather than an unboxing. And this one's actually for an app, and uh, the developer actually uh, contacted me and uh, asked if I would uh, review this app for him. He said, you know, I know it's not really a normal sort of thing, which it isn't. And my iPad has just gone to sleep. It's actually an iPad only app, this one. And uh, we're going to uh, set away recording here and uh, I'll show you how it all works. Now the app we're looking at is uh, this one here in orange and it's called Moby Folders. So if I open that app, uh, things will lag a little bit here. Um, it's because I'm just sitting a bit far away from my uh, network basically. And you can see here how the app's basically laid out. And you can see I've also got um, a browser window open here. Now, you can see down here you've got these sort of settings, desktop, private, vacation. They are basically all file areas. They're like files basically. And the desktop one is, uh, if I just tap on that, and you can see that that's actually open already in the, uh, the bottom window here. And you can move that out of the way. And it's now open in the top as well because I've set it as like the primary one. So if we now, right, I've set the top one as photos. Just bear, just bear with me here a minute, guys. So I've already got a photo in there. <laughs> it's an inbred cat. Strangely enough, I've just been watching about that on TV. So anyway, what I'll do is I'll just delete that. And down in the bottom there we've got delete and confirm, okay. Right, so that sort of sets that up now. And if we, sorry guys, I'm not used to doing screen flows as you can see. So if we now um, go to this uh, pictures on the desktop here, and you can see I've got my intro uh, videos there. And you know, if I, if I play that, you can see what it is. It's actually the intro from my videos, okay? So, it's a bit choppy just with being a uh... right I'll stop that back out of it now if I select that and you can see that I've put a little uh, tick on that now or it should be showing up any moment right there it is and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab all of it and move it and if you look when I move up to photos it splits it into copy or move so let's say I just wanted to do a copy of it and let go in copy and there you go and it's, it's moving it across to the photos section and likewise again if I want to I can now de delete that out of there just by highlighting it with the tick, click delete, confirm and it's deleted again and if I want to grab it again and say move and you'll see it's now appeared in the top window and disappeared in the bottom. So you know it's it's it does basically all it's supposed to do. So we've also got a section that you can call videos as well and if I click on that one that says import there and you can see you get a drop down and this is why I've got the web browser open. So as you can see it actually gives you access to your um, SkyDrive, your um, what's it, what it's calling Mobi is actually your, uh, your Dropbox uh, photos that are built onto the iPad, uh, Gmail, now I've got all of those open here and as you can see it also does WebDAV or WebDAV uh, connect to server. Now if I just click on that you can see it's got like the parameters for the client program and everything and if I, let me just uh, go to finder and let me just get rid of that and in Finder, if I go to Go, Connect to Server, and you can see it's the one that's actually highlighted already. So if I just click on that and I say Connect, and it tells you it's connecting, and there you go, all of a sudden you can see all the files there. And it's got file uploaded. Uh, yeah, that's uh, just the other two files are on there. What they actually are is actually an invoice, so I won't open that and show you it. Uh, obviously, that's personal information. Now, 
if I wanted, I can actually close that now, but I still have full access to it. If I just move that across, what you'll see is I've got this, and that is the what the bond that I've just closed. So if I double tap that, it opens again. So there you go. So you can privately share stuff around your local networks and stuff like that um, across to other stuff. So say I didn't uh, initially have that on there, um, you know, I could uh, obviously bring that out onto my desktop and then I can use it for whatever. That's now, you know, bringing it across to the desktop. It's copying, it's estimating the time remaining. So anyway, let me just stop that. All right, I'll stop that. We'll close that again. So you've seen that. So let me just move that back across there. I'm not used to using this smaller trackpad at the moment uh, because I've been using the uh, the larger one at the desktop. So if I get rid of that. So obviously then if I say go to my uh, Dropbox there and you can see it starts to sync straight away and if I go to, let's have a look I'll go click on in and out you can see that I've got the intro files and outro files in there as well so if I now go onto here go to my Dropbox and I've got in and out there intro and outro files so very clever application um, absolutely brilliant for sharing uh, files around multiple devices you know you might uh, use Mac at home uh, Windows at work which I do so absolutely um, brilliant for that sort of thing and then of course the the web server access makes it uh, better still um, the only slight bug that I've come across so far was uh, when I first started connecting to all my um, accounts like the uh, the Google Drive and stuff like that every time I connected to one of those accounts uh, the very first time I did it the app would shut itself um, like a, a sort of a little crash but that's it ever, ever since then I've opened it and it's just worked flawlessly all, all the way through so a huge thank you to um, the developer for uh, giving me this copy to show you guys I will leave the link below and by the way the, the app was £4.99 when I last looked um, not the cheapest of apps but by no means as expensive as some of the other workflow apps out there so well worth a look guys especially if you do a lot of file shifting I'll leave the link to it the iTunes link to it underneath remember it is an iPad only app it's not for a uh, iPhone or anything like that possibly I'd like to see maybe an um, iPhone 6 plus version of it come along you know maybe a slightly smaller version of it to, um, just maybe you know it would help sometimes with files on the move sort of thing you know if you're on the go you know and you've gone to see a client somewhere that would be great so there you go guys i've shown you what it's capable of uh, leave your comments underneath and uh, thanks very much for watching cheers guys see you